The man above was a murderer. The man below was a thief. And I lie there in the bunk between, ailing beyond belief. A weary armful of skin and bone, wasted with pain and grief. My feet were froze, and the lifeless toes were purple and green and gray. And the little flesh that clung to my bones, you could punch in it holes like clay. And the skin of my gums was a sullen black and slowly peeling away. I was sure enough in a direful fix, and often I wondered why. They did not take the chance that was left and leave me alone to die, or finish me off with a dose of dope, so utterly lost was I. But no, they brewed me the green spruce tea, and they nursed me there like a child. And the homicide, he was good to me, and he bathed my sores and smiled. And the thief, he starved that I might be fed, and his eyes were kind and mild. Yet these were woefully wicked men, and often at night in pain, I heard the murderer speak of his deed and dream it all over again. And I heard the poor thief sorrowing for the dead self he had slain. I'll never forget that bitter dawn so evil askew and gray when they wrapped me round in the skins of beasts and bore me to a sleigh. And we started out with the nearest post a hundred miles away. I'll never forget the trail they broke with its tense unuttered woe and the crunch, crunch, crunch as their snowshoes sank through the crust of the hollow snow. And my breath would fail and every beat of my heart was like a blow. And oftentimes I would die the death, then wake up to life anew. And the sun would be all ablaze on the waste, and the sky a blighting blue. And tears would rise in my snow-blind eyes, and furrow my cheeks like dew. And the camps we made when their strength outplayed, and the day was pinched and wan. And oh, the joy of the blessed halt, and how I did dread the dawn, and how I hated those weary men who rose and dragged me on. And oh, how I begged to rest, to rest. The snow was so sweet a shroud. And oh, how I cried when they urged me on, cried and cursed them aloud. Yet on they strained, all racked and pained, and sorely their backs were bowed. And then it was all like a lurid dream, and I prayed for a swift release from these ruthless men that would not leave me to die alone in peace. Then I waked up and found myself at the post of the mounted police. And there was my friend, the murderer. And there was my friend, the thief, with bracelets of steel around their wrists and wicked beyond belief. But when they come to God's judgment seat, may I be allowed the brief?